Hello students, welcome back to our channel KSS Gurukul. Today we will discuss a topic of class 11 biology, taxonomic categories. The classification of organisms involves hierarchy of steps called taxonomic hierarchy. Each step represents a rank or category or group called taxonomic category or commonly taxon. In plural, that is taxa. Each taxon represents the units of classification. Taxa are not mere morphological aggregates, but are distinct biological entities. For example, insect is a taxon. Now, the insect group or taxa have some characteristic features like jointed appendages that is three pairs of jointed legs and antenna, an exoskeleton, segmented body, etc. Thus, insects are recognizable concrete objects which can be classified. They belong to the arthropod group which is also a taxon. The highest taxon in a taxonomic hierarchy is called kingdom and the lowest one is species. Thus, the different taxa or ranks in a taxonomic hierarchy from higher to lower are like this. The highest taxon is the kingdom. The next taxon lower to it is the phylum in case of animals and division in case of plants. Next, it follows class order, family, genus or genera and species in decreasing order, species being the lowest among these all. First, let's discuss the lowest taxon that is species. Species includes a group of individual organisms having fundamental similarities. One group of species can be differentiated from the other by the distinct morphological differences between them. For example, Panthera tigris that is tiger and Panthera leo that is lion. Both the tiger and lion have same genera or genus Panthera, but their species are different. The tigris species differs from the leo species by some distinct morphological differences. Likewise, the Solanum tuberosum that is potato plant and Solanum melongena that is eggplant plant belong to same genera or genus Solanum but differ in species based on some distinct morphological differences. Human beings belong to species Sapiens and genus Homo. Thus, the scientific name of human beings is Homo sapiens. Now, come to the next higher taxon that is genus or genera. Genus is a taxonomic rank or group in a taxonomic hierarchy between species and family. It comprises of a group of related species having more similar characteristics between them in comparison to the species of other genera. Thus, genus is the aggregate of closely related species. For example, the genus Panthera includes tigers, lions, leopards and jaguars etc. that are closely related. But different varieties of cats though are similar to the tigers do not come under the genus Panthera. Instead, are grouped under genus Felis because the tigers, lions, leopards and jaguars etc. have more similarities between them in comparison to the cats. Now come to the family. Family is a taxonomic rank or group in a taxonomic hierarchy between genus and order. It comprises of a group of closely related genera having still less number of similarities as compared to genus and species. In case of plants, 
families are characterized on the basis of both vegetative and reproductive features of them. However, in case of animals, there is no specific rule. For example, different genera of plants like Solanum, Petunia, Capsicum and Datura come under one family Solanaceae. Likewise, different genera of animals like Panthera, Phallis, Leopardus, Puma and Phenalurus come under one family Phallidae. Now come to the order. Order is a taxonomic rank or growth in a taxonomic hierarchy between family and class. While categories up to the rank of family that is the species, genus and family are characterized on the basis of number of similar characters between them. The ranks higher to them are identified based on aggregate of characters. Order is the grouping of families having few similar characters between them. For example, in case of plants, families like Convolvulaceae, Solanaceae are included in the order polymonials, mainly based on the floral characters. Likewise, in animals, families like Phallidae, Canidae, Ursidae, and Hynidae come under the order Carnivora. However, note that the number of similar characters between the genera in a family is more in compared to the same between the families in an order. The more we move higher in a taxonomical hierarchy, the less we find the number of similar characteristics between the categories in a group. Thus, Higher the category, greater is the difficulty to classify. H. Classification become more complex. The next rank is class. Class is a taxonomic rank or group in a taxonomic hierarchy between order and phylum or division. It is the grouping of related orders. For example, order primata which includes monkey, gorilla and given etc. and the order carnivora that includes animals like tiger, cat and dog etc. come under the class mammalia. Orders like asterals, geraniales, polymonials, ruvials etc. come under class dicotyledon. Now come to the higher taxon that is phylum or division. Phylum and division are the taxonomic ranks or groups in a taxonomic hierarchy between class and kingdom. Different classes of animals grouped under the taxonomic category next higher to class is called as phylum. It is based on the common features between them. For example, presence of notochord, dorsal hollow or tubular nerve cord or paired pharyngeal gill slits etc. are features of phylum codata. In plants, the corresponding category is division. For example, the class mammalia that is mammals, avis that is birds, feces that is fishes, reptilia that is reptiles, and amphibians that is amphibia are included under phylum codata. Now the last and the highest rank that is kingdom. All animals under different phyla come under the next higher rank that is kingdom animalia. Likewise all plants of different division come under the next higher rank that is kingdom planta. Examples of some common organisms and their taxonomical classification are First come to the man or human being. The scientific name of man is Homo sapiens. Here genus is Homo, species is sapiens. 
फैमिली इज होमिनेडी ऑर्डर प्री माटा क्लास मामालिया एंड फाइलम कोडाटा लाइकवाइज टेक्सोनॉमिकल क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ हाउस फ्लाई इज साइंटिफिक नेम मुस्का डोमेस्टिका जेनस मुस्का स्पीसीज डोमेस्टिका फैमिली मुस्किरी ऑर्डर डिप्तेरा क्लास इनसेक्टा फाइलम आथ्रोपोडा डेट ऑफ मैंगो इच साइंटिफिक नेम मांगीफेरा इंडिका जेनस मांगीफेरा स्पीसीज इंडिका फैमिली अनाकाडियसी ऑर्डर सफिंडल्स क्लास डाइकोटिलिडोनी एंड डिविजन एंजियोस्पॉन्स डेट ऑफ हुईट इच साइंटिफिक नेम ट्रिटिकम एस्टिभम जेनस ट्रिटिकम स्पीसीज एस्टिभम फैमिली पावसी ऑर्डर पॉयल्स क्लास मोनोकोटिलिडोनी डिविजन एंजियोस्पॉर्मी लेट्स डिस्कस सम ऑफ द करेंटली एक्सेप्टेड मीनिंग्स फॉर द वर्ड स्पीसीज According to Collins dictionary species means any of the taxonomic groups into which a genus is divided the members of which are capable of interbreeding or any group of related animals or plants not necessarily of this taxonomic rank a kind sort or variety According to Merriam Webster's dictionary a class of individuals having common attributes and designated by a common name the human race that is human beings according to longman dictionary a group of animals or plants whose members are similar and can breed together to produce young animals and plants According to Cambridge dictionary a set of animals or plants in which the members have similar characteristics to each other and can breed with each other According to Oxford dictionary a group into which animals plants etc that are able to have sex with each other and produce healthy young are divided smaller than a genus and identified by a latin name thus we find three main accepted meanings of the word species they are organisms with similar characteristics capable of interbreeding secondly any group including related plants or animals other than taxonomical rank next a kind sort or variety the first meaning can be applied only for higher animals and plants as they are the only who reproduce by sexual means and are interbreeders the second and third meanings can be applied to all organisms from higher to lower including the bacteria usually the bacteria are classified according to their shape for example spherical bacteria are called cocci and rod shaped bacteria are called bacilli this was all about this topic Feel free to subscribe, like, share and comment your valuable views. Thank you for watching.